Okay, guys, today is probably like almost as good as your birthday because we're talking about 45, 45, 90 triangles. It's amazing. Okay. First of all, I'm going to be pretty detailed in this video. If you just need a quick overview, I have a video linked over there where I talk about 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90 triangles pretty quickly. Okay. Also, if you need to learn about 30, 60, 90 triangles with a bit more detail, I will link a video over there for it. Okay. And anything else? Well, we'll get to it. Okay. 45, 45, 90 triangle. These are special right triangles. Okay. So a right triangle, we've got our 90 degrees here. That's where that 90 comes from. And then if one side is 45 degrees, one angle, I should say, then we know the other one is. Okay. Why do we know that? Because the angles of a triangle always add to 180 degrees. So if I have 90 and if I didn't know this angle, but I knew it was 90 and 45, then I also know this one is 45 because 90 plus 45 plus 45 equals 180. Did I already say that? Sorry. Okay. Now, why do we care about this? Well, because the sides are always um, equal to these proportions. What does that mean? Okay, we'll go over that. So each leg is one. Sorry, that was my hair gross. Okay. The legs are each one. If the angles here are the same, the sides are also the same. Okay. Across from them. All right. The hypotenuse, the one across from the right angle is the square root of two. Now, what do I mean when I say all 45, 45, 90 triangles are proportional to each other? Well, what I mean is that whatever triangle you have, no matter how big or small it is, is this same relationship. So it might be double this. It might be triple this. It might be half this. It might be 72 fifths this. Okay. So it's always going to be related to these. Okay. So you might be like, what the crap? Why can't I just use the Pythagorean theorem that I've been using that I love now, right? You love it. If you need a quick overview, I've got a video over there. Okay. We love the Pythagorean theorem. And a lot of times you could use it with a 45, 45, 90 triangle, but there are cases such as here where I only have the hypotenuse. And if you didn't know the rules about 45, 45, 90, that these two sides are the same and other things, you might be stuck. Okay. The Pythagorean theorem is wonderful, but it does have some limitations. Don't tell it I said that. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into this. If you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Just get started. Guess what? We're getting started, but don't worry. I made a mini version of that. So we still have it with us. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this one. All right. This, we have the 90 and the 45. Like I said before, if one side, one angle is 45 and 90, then we know this is also 45, okay? So right off, my legs are the same, okay? So if this leg is six in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, this leg is also six. So look, we already found one side. What? Oh my gosh. So X equals six. Now we just need to find Y. Now you might be like, can't I just do the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, technically you could, but your homework is probably about 30 or 45, 45, 90 triangles. So we're going to go over that way too. Okay. So what I like to do, I'm going to grab a different color. What I like to do is, um, write these numbers with this triangle. Okay. So I'm going to write one, one, square root of two. Okay. Cause they're related to those numbers. Okay. Now there's two ways we could go about this. I'm going to do this one, one way and this one, another way. So you might want to stick around. Okay. So I noticed that to get from one to six, this one was multiplied by six, right? So meaning this triangle, okay. Even though it doesn't look it, it's not to scale. Okay. In theory, this triangle is six times bigger than the standard normal 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay. So if I multiply this side by six, that means I also multiply this side by six of this triangle, right? Again, not to scale, which means if I multiply both those sides by six, I also multiplied this side by six. Okay. 
So this one was one times six gave me six. So over here, it's gonna be the square root of two times six gives me y, which is what? Um, six times the square root of two is just six times the square root of two. And guess what, you're done. Now I would say probably 99% of the time your teacher will probably want the answer like that. Um, just six square roots of two. If for some reason they want it as a decimal, just plug that in to your calculator. Okay. And you'll get a not so pretty decimal, but that's okay. Um, if you need radical review, <laughs> that sounded kind of funny, a review on radicals, I will link a video over there. Okay. All right. Let's do one more. This one is very, um, similar. We're going to do it a little bit differently, but same theory. Okay. So Again, I am looking for X this time. Again, I've got 90, 45, so I know this one is also 45. So if you're doing this problem, this is when a light bulb goes off like, oh my gosh, that's one of my special triangles, right? So um, ba -ba -da -da, we need to figure out what X is, okay? Since it's a 45, 45, 90, I know this side is also X, okay? Because across from those same angles is going to be x they were both in this triangle they're both one so we need to figure out what happened to make the square root of 215 okay so one way we can do this is set up proportions okay so what does that mean you're basically setting up the relationship i know that these numbers are related to each other the same way these numbers are related to each other okay it's kind of like one half is the same as four eighths. They look different, but their relationship is the same. They would um, simplify to the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to set up a proportion. So again, so I'm going to get a different color again. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Sorry. All right. So one, one square root of two. Okay. My numbers are related to those. So Four, um, 15 is related to the square root of two, okay? The same way that X is related to one, okay? Does that make sense? Their relationship is the same, okay? So then... Technically, this is already done because it's over one, but we're going to pretend it's not done. So um, proportions. I haven't done a video on this, but if I do one in the future, I'll try to remember to link it over there. Okay. <laughs> so um, for proportions, what you do is you cross multiply. And basically, um, the reason you do that is you're trying to get X alone. So you multiply both sides by the square root of two. Um, and then you would multiply both sides by the square by one. So anyways, basically what you end up doing is cross multiplying. Okay. So we cross those. So over here, I'm going to have 15 because it's one times five equals the square root of two times X. Okay. Then I just want X alone. So I'm going to divide off the square root of two and divide off the square root of two. Okay. So those cancel and I'm left with X equals 15 over the square root of 2. Okay. Now, this is where that video I linked about radicals just a second ago could come in very handy because denominators are very sensitive. That's the bottom of my fraction. We do not like to have radicals in them. If you turn this in with the answer, your teacher might be like, eh, sorry, nice try. Close. So this is the answer, but we don't like radicals down here. How do we get rid of it? Um, again, check out that video that I linked just a minute ago. It should still be over there. We're going to multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Why can I do that? Well, because the square root of 2 over the square root of 2 um, simplifies down to 1. Okay, so it's just like I'm multiplying by 1. It just looks a little different than a 1, but it is a 1. Okay, so then I've got 15 times the square root of 2. So I get 15 square roots of 2 all over... The square root of 2 of, times the square root of 2 looks kind of scary, but actually the radicals just cancel and you're left with a 2. Okay? Is that pretty awesome? Right? Okay. So that is your answer. Okay. 
This, the 15 over the square root of 2, and this are actually the same. If you put them in your calculator, you'll get the same ugly decimal. Okay, this one we just like a lot better because there's not a radical in our denominator. Okay, hopefully that made sense and you can get your homework done and go to bed and have dreams of math that aren't nightmares.